Slime translimed back into the sea monster and plunged down into the depths of the moat to save his friend. Once back on dry land, the boy wailed, This is impossible! Nothing is impossible, replied Slime. Getting into Aunt Greta's castle is... Yes, apart from that, obviously. Obviously. The pair thought for a moment. There must be some way over the wall and past those cats, said Ned. What do cats hate? asked Slime. Dogs. Then a dog I shall be. In an instant, Slime translimed into a dog or slog. The slog, which was a hundred times the size of a normal dog, dried itself off by doing that weird shaking thing that dogs do. See, there he's going there. He's shaking himself like a dog. And then Ned's getting on his back and they're going to go back inside. Next, the slog placed Ned on its back. Miraculously, the boy did not slip off. It then paced away from the castle before bounding toward it and taking a giant leap. They leaped over the wall, whoosh and success. They landed in the castle courtyard right on top of the sea of cats who started row, row, all over again. With the cats circling around them, the pair were scared. What sh shall we do, 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 do? asked Slime. You are a dog, reminded Ned. Growl at them. I'll try, replied Slime. Grrr. Aunt Greta's cats were not easily scared. In fact, they actually laughed at this pitiful display. Meow. <laughs> oh no, said Ted. Oh yes, said Slime. The cats began circling the intruders before going on the attack, baring their fangs. Hiss! Some of the bolder cats began scratching at this dog with their claws. Meow! Hiss! Swipe! Scratch! Ned and Slime cowered in a corner. They cowered so far in the corner that in no time the pair were nothing more than a gooey mess. Oh no! exclaimed Slime. Oh yes! exclaimed Ned. It looks like the end. It certainly does. There are just so many of them. How many? asked Slime. I can't count them all. They keep moving around. Still, Aunt Greta's army of cats hissed and swiped with their claws. Row! Hiss! Swipe! Scratch! If they aren't scared of dogs, there must be something else they're frightened of, reasoned Ned. But what? The cats were pouring nearer and nearer. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Water, exclaimed the boy. Of course, agreed Slime. Slime, become a raging sea now. Slime did just as its friend asked. In no time at all, the castle courtyard was sloshing with a slimy sea or slee. Meow, meow, screamed the cats. Ned was right. The cats were scared of water. In fact, they were terrified. The monstrous moggies were now leaping on anything floating on the surface of the slimy sea. Chairs, tables, other cats. Ow! Ned, who was body surfing on a wooden tray, spied an open window on the wall. See, now there are the cats leaping onto everything while the sea is there. Through here, slime, he called. The boy slid through the window and the sea of slime followed, pouring itself through the narrow frame. Inside the castle, the boy fell on the floor. Thud! Oof! The slime poured on top of him. Splurge! Yuck, said the boy. Ned looked around. He was inside the biggest room he'd ever been in his, in his life. It was a picture of opulence. Opulence means it looked really rich. Oil paintings, priceless antiques, crystal chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. It was a world away from the humble cottage where he lived. Who goes there? demanded a voice. It was Ned's aunt, Greta Greed. The lady was standing right over them, dripping with jewels and holding a particularly fearsome cat in her arms. 
Chapter 27 A Cat As Big As A Bear At first glance, it wasn't clear who was holding who. It might as well have been the cat holding the aunt, as they were both the same size. The cat, like all the others, was called Tiddles. This Tiddles you could tell apart from all the rest for the simple reason that it was the size of a grizzly bear. It was really a gigantic Tiddles. I said, who goes there? Repeated Aunt Greta. See now, that's where she is. See how big that, that cat is? Like it's huge, isn't it? Just about as big as her. The boy heaved himself up onto a chair. Meanwhile, slime, which had spread out all over the silk rug, gathered itself together again. It took its blobulous form behind the boy. It's me, Aunt Greta. Your favourite nephew, Ned, spluttered the boy. Well, I say favourite, you've only got one, so I must be your favourite. Aunt Greta was not the least amused. You are a leech, is what you are, boy. Sucking all you can from me like the rest of your wretched family. The evil cat was giving him the evil eye. His eyes glinted like the diamonds on his collar. Didn't you read the sign? Trespassers will be eaten. I want you out of my castle now or I'll set Tiddles on you. With that, she hurled gigantic Tiddles toward the boy. The great thing landed with a thud on the floor. Doof! See? And who is this gigantic bogey with you? Demanded Aunt Greta. Charming, 